we would like to find the x and y intercept uh, of the line 2x plus 4y equals negative 4. Um, you can jot down in your notes that yes, to find an x-intercept, you're going to replace the y with 0, and to find a y-intercept, you're going to replace the x with 0. But long term, you want to understand why that's happening. So if you think about what are the points, what are the coordinates of every single point on the x-axis, if I was on the x-axis, for example, um, I might go, I might go right one up zero, so it's one comma zero. Or if I go right two up zero, two comma zero. I might go back three up zero, negative three comma zero. Every single point on the x-axis, the y-coordinate is zero, which is why we are gonna replace the y with zero to find an x-intercept. If you think about every single point that's on the y-axis, I might plot the point right or left zero up one, so zero comma one, or right or left zero up five, so zero comma five. Every single point that's on your y-axis, the x-coordinate is zero. So keeping that in mind, to find your x-intercept, you're gonna replace the y with zero because we're not gonna come off the x-axis. And then good notation, I'm gonna take the original equation here and then I'm gonna go in and put a set of parentheses where the y used to be. And then I'm gonna replace that y with zero. Okay, and simplifying, four multiplied by zero is zero, so that piece is gone. So all I have left is two x equals negative four. Divide both sides by two. And then negative four divided by two is negative two, so my x-intercept is located at negative two. Okay, then this one here, uh, y-intercept, every single point, again, on the y-axis, the x is zero, because you don't move right or left. So taking my original equation, two x plus four y equals negative four, I'm gonna go in and this time replace the x with zero. So good notation, put a set of parentheses where the x used to be. Then I'm gonna put a zero in there. Two multiplied by zero is zero, so that's gone. And so I'm left with four y equals negative four. To get rid of multiply by four, I'm gonna divide by four. And negative four divided by positive four is negative one. So my y-intercept is negative one. The very next lesson is a follow-up on this one. It says to graph the line, a line like two x plus four y equals negative four, by first finding the x and y-intercepts. So if I wanted to take this and now graph the line, I'd put a point on the x-axis at negative two, I'd put a point on the y-axis at negative one, connect the dots, and now it's graphed.